Meteorologist Katie, it's time to talk about you for a moment. Ooh, delightful. First of all, <laughs> thanks for joining in on the fun. Secondly, yeah. everybody knows Katie. Sometimes you know her from, uh, you know, videos and, and viral things. Many people know her from Orville Nation. Some people watch her on television or, or see her cool uh, Star Trek weather or her Animaniacs thing that I have no idea how it was humanly possible. Yeah. But, <laughs> and everybody check, all, check out that stuff in the description box below. But today, you've got something new to tell us about, don't you? Yes, I do, because my channel is actually starting to have content outside of my random fandom forecasts. And that's actually, we do a show about a show called the Avatar The Last Airbender. And it's a kid's cartoon that aired on Nickelodeon from like 2005 to 2009, I think. But it is like unlike any kid's show you've ever seen. And actually adults are loving it because they brought it to Netflix. And when they did, my friend from college and I both started to rewatch it. We thought, you might as well do a podcast or stream on this. And so every Wednesday we pop on and we review one episode and we talk about not, not like reviewing the episode, but deep dive into the lore, some fan wow. theories. Oh my gosh, you guys should hear some of the fan theories. There's a cat that's committed war crimes that we have found and just div divulged all the information on. It's incredible. And we can just have a blast. It's such an easygoing cartoon, even though it's about the genocide of an entire race and everything is great. But <laughs> it's really, uh, it's really going to be a fun time every Wednesday. Now, uh, everybody at home, we know what you're saying right now. You're saying WTF, the last airbender or the last starfighter. Avatar, uh, the last airbender. Yeah, because we've heard, yeah, I've the, definitely the heard of that. People have mentioned it a bunch of times. Oh, it's not as, it is a TV series, right? It is the TV series. M. Night Shyamalan tried to make a movie and the M. Night shat upon it. Don't, it doesn't exist. Oh, um, it's, it's, <laughs> it's widely renowned as one of the worst bargain bin movies you can find. And if you watch the series of Avatar, I will gladly pop on and rewatch the movie so you guys can see how terrible it is. <laughs> we don't do But the movies. show is incredible. We oh, just watch the first of shows, so. You could watch like the first of a trilogy. Hmm? We'll watch the first episode possibly of this uh, Last Airbender series. That could be a pretty interesting thing because it does have a cult following. We've definitely heard about it. Oh my gosh. It's around. Yeah. So when yeah, did you, oh, for sure. When did you start this new podcast and how far along are you? Yeah, we started it back oh, probably April or May, but because tornadoes and television both got in the way because myself and my co-host Brandy both are in the television industry, we've kind of been skipping every other week recently, but we're only on episode, I think, 13, and they're 22-minute mm -hmm. episodes, so it's incredibly bingeable. Okay, and yeah, yeah, we well, like those. We, <laughs> we had a guy who watched the entire three seasons in one week and came back to the show. He's like, oh my gosh, I'm so invested in this now. And we're like, dude, we didn't even do that. <laughs> it's wow. that addictive. It is such a good story. It's I, so I'd argue it's the best addictive. story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the best story that I've ever seen presented on television. If to put it lightly, <laughs> that's how much I recommend it. <laughs> wow. Michael and I uh, just referenced one of our old songs from back in the day called Rice Pudding that we just went over recently in one of our previous episodes. Mm -hmm. But it was funny that we both thought really? that as soon as you mentioned <laughs> addictive it's, things. It's very, it's very addicting. I'm yeah. off. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So uh, now, Katie, the final question about podcasting. Was there any big surprise that happened during this podcasting journey of 12 or 13 episodes? Were you surprised at how fun it was or how difficult it was? Was there just like a surprising moment that you're like, wow, this show is shockingly better than I expected? Was there, was there anything like that? Wait, for Avatar or for Stargate? <laughs> Oh, not for Stargate, Avatar. For, for Avatar. For, okay, for Avatar. <laughs> no, I think the most shocking part that I've had from this entire experience of producing it and putting it out there is finding the NSFW content that people have made and having to uh -oh. delete my browser history every time I try to find fan art or a mm. fan theory. 
Mm. And then mercifully, and this is the best part, I found out there is a filter for that sort of thing. So I could just check it and we're good to go now. Everything's going smoothly since like episode eight as far as that has gone. But I, the amount of work that goes into it, I was not prepared for the uh, traumatizing sh- pictures. That was the most shocking part. Of a children's cartoon. Well, it's... Mm, yeah, <laughs> it's uh, because they expanded it beyond that, and they had a new, they had a follow up series, and everyone is married and has babies, and so it's all the adult things. It's just like, we just burn my eyes. So <laughs> it just enjoy the childlike wonder of it, yeah. and don't go on the internet. And I feel like that's the same for most things in life. Right, that's probably solid advice for anything. Yeah. Yes. But you can Stay go on the internet to watch. Katie's podcast, of course, and that's on your YouTube yes. channel. Yes, so many random fandoms or Smurf because Smurf sounds really fun. <laughs> WTF, WTF Smurfs. Smurfs? Yes, <laughs> that was the best cartoon ever. Better than He Man. Those were my favorites, and Robotech, <laughs> and Transformers, and GI Joe. And G.I. Joe, come on. But, the, it. It, but those were kind of like the pinnacle. Um, well, that's awesome. Everybody be sure to check out Katie's podcast and all of her extra stuff. It's going to be found in the description box below as Michael is directing you in the right direction. Please check that out. Everybody. Everybody.